We have seen some shocking predictions made by the famous animated cartoon in America, The Simpsons. From regime changes to Trump's victory, this mythical cartoon has predicted many political and financial scenarios. Interestingly enough, The Simpsons predicted that XRP will win the SEC lawsuit. Find out more about the coin and the show by hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. Now without further ado, let's get into this. The Simpsons has been one of the top rated shows to air on Prime TV and still is. The show has currently aired 27 seasons with around 596 episodes of nearly 20 to 22 minutes each. Initially, the show was meant to depict an everyday American life story of a disoriented family. However, once the scenarios started coming to life and political events started occurring, people started looking up to the show for predictions. Now, the writers have to be mindful of their scripts and predictions because people have certain expectations. Even though it is a controversial and socio-political show with many banned episodes, it is still popular for the truths that it brings to life. Currently, there are many affairs that are occurring as the show predicted them. The Simpsons Company has been very clear with their scripts and humor since they have touched sensitive topics creatively through inside and hidden jokes. One aspect that makes The Simpsons a fairly accurate and referential show is the fact that it has so many episodes based on everyday life. It is only natural that it has events that are currently occurring or other such predictions. People have been predicting the futures of economies, countries, and even the world beyond through astrology. With all this information widely available, we can assume that the writers must have researched worldly affairs to create the latest episodes. In an episode of The Simpsons, there is a part where people in the show all stand on the street in the middle of the night in front of a notice board with an equation. In the background, there is a nightlight that can be an indication that all the lawsuit chaos would come to an end overnight. It's believed that the lawsuit is actually already over if we look at what the show predicted. People believe that all the documents and delays are just to drag it. For the first time in history, people are seeing that the judge is being told to recheck their verdict and to do this or that. Many people even call this lawsuit a show for the popularity of the crypto market. If that's the case, then we already know that Ripple has won the case. But here's what we need to know about the conflict and if what the Simpsons predict is true. The Ripple and SEC issue started back in 2020. The Security and Exchange Commission claimed that Ripple had carried out an improper security offering by using an XRP digital asset. The SEC lawsuit says that XRP is not a cryptocurrency, but a security asset. The case went ahead to prove whether XRP is a cryptocurrency or not. The main purpose of XRP is to act as a bridge between two currencies for exchange and trade. Ripple does this by charging a small fee for every transaction made between the investors. Masses were of the opinion that XRP is indeed a digital currency and not a security asset. The interesting part is that The Simpsons viewers claim that the show predicted that Ripple would win the lawsuit through public opinion. The XRP coin created by Ripple had immense public support, which panned out well for the Ripple company since the evidence and proceedings were out in the public. There is no doubt in the fact that Ripple did win magnificently and prove the Security and Exchange Commission wrong. Stuart Alderati is the legal counsel at Ripple, and during the case in April, he tweeted that, It now looks like a resolution will come in 2023, and each day that passes is hurting US citizens who were essentially the victims of a rug pull by the SEC. $15 billion in XRP market cap was destroyed the day the suit was filed, hurting the very people the SEC purports to protect. Later, the former SEC director William Hinman was informed through emails by Empowerment Oversight about a potential threat of a conflict with the Ripple company because apparently a former employer, Simpson Thatcher, wanted to promote Ethereum. Coming back to the case, Hinman also knew through sources and a defense attorney that the judge's current decision was highly favorable to the opposing party. To counter the decision, the SEC was lawfully given 14 days to come up with an appeal. During this time, Ripple was going through financial damages, but the company was still relatively doing pretty well because of its popularity and public support. People were still investing in XRP, and the coin was trading at a decent value. Garlinghouse added that, 
If Ripple loses the case, does anything change? It's basically status quo. Ripple is still growing very, very quickly. This proves that the officials at Ripple were not that worried about a defeat because A, they knew they were on the right path, and B, the Ripple wouldn't be as badly harmed from the outcome. Another plus for Ripple was the fact that since they won the trial, they were expecting high traffic on the coin, including a bull run which would naturally boost the company's economy. Moreover, Ripple was also getting a lot of attention due to the tension of the lawsuit. People were actively following the case and all of its updates. Investors who weren't previously involved with XRP started taking interest due to anticipation and hype. On a more recent account, we know that Ripple has indeed gained the victory since the court declined SEC's motion to seal. It was also added that the court said that the SEC sent a letter explaining their proposed stances and detailing which exhibits it wishes to seal. It was also made clear that the court agreed with Ripple that the SEC was merely attempting to seal information that was not even required. Jeremy Hogan, the friendly attorney at Ripple, took it to the media and explained that the SEC did not want its expert's physical address published. Ripple contends that only one document discloses the expert's address and only one copy needs to be sealed. Two months ago in June, Sarah Netburn, the federal judge, conducted a private meeting to talk about the Hinman emails. As for now, XRP still has to prove its reliability in the crypto market because things are still pretty unsure for the company. Even though the card seems to be falling in Ripple's favor, things can turn around and cause investors a massive loss. The real challenge would, however, be to maintain the coin and the crowd that falls in after Ripple wins the lawsuit. XRP had been trading well on the charts overall until the crypto market crash. The charts were volatile, but we're still making progress. However, now the coins seem to be observing a dip. This value dip, however, is not related to the lawsuit because it's the entire market that is facing a rough patch. Even when the coins are crashing to 80 and 90%, XRP is still doing very well. It is also believed that if the SEC themselves settle the case with Ripple in the coming weeks or months, XRP might become one of the favorite coins due to a bull hike. The current drop is also giving investors a heads up because they do see the Ripple win as inevitable and believe that purchasing XRP at a discounted price would be of great benefit since the coin would only shoot up after the victory is made official. It is believed that XRP will shoot up to $5 by 2030. Even though the value doesn't seem very high for a grace of almost 8 years, it's still pretty handsome percentage-wise. People wishing to invest long-term in XRP might see some billionaire-level profits if the predictions go right. While most crypto coins are affected by the Bitcoin price, it's safe to say that XRP might see a similar trend. It might trade in accordance with Bitcoin volatility. In that case, a short-term prediction would be that XRP would drop further and has not yet seen the bottom. However, after seeing its all-time high in the next few months, it's predicted that the charts would eventually rise. They will shoot up and maybe they won't touch their all-time highs, but if people invest in the recent dips, it would be a great all-time benefit for them. Adding to the debate, many experts also believe that if the crypto market reaches a higher popularity and gets some security on the volatility rates, coins like XRP and Ethereum might just skyrocket. It's believed that XRP would reach $200 to $300, which is a massive and almost unimaginable price hike. But with all these predictions, we can sum up that the scenario looks pretty favorable for XRP in the next 10 years, unless a calamity for XRP takes place and reduces the coin to zero. It is currently a great time to invest in the coin and forget about it. XRP is fruitful for long-term investments at the moment instead of active buying and selling. It is important to note that these are just chart readings and predictions by some experts. It is not necessary for the future of XRP to pan out the way these predictions claim. And with that, we've come to the end of our video. What do you think about The Simpsons' prediction about XRP? Let us know in the comments below, and please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.